How about now? I know it. I know it. I don't know what it is. Okay, sound now. Okay, big camera has no sound. That's what's up. Not that that's better, but that's what's up. So, Justin's here with us. Uh, we're not going to be able to do big camera. That's the deal. So, I might not be able to do what I planned on doing. You can, you can do big camera real fast on the fly if you right click copy your audio source from this scene. Really? Yes. Right click copy, go to the big camera, right click paste into the, uh, the sources. Oh, okay, copy. Oh, you have it in there? Um, sound? Sound, sound? Okay, um... I think I did it. You think you did it? But they won't have you, so I need to copy and paste you, too. I should be coming from your desktop audio, I believe. Yeah, but for whatever reason, I've got that in there. Paste. Okay. Let's see. So, big camera, can you hear me, and can you hear Justin? Uh, testing. Can you guys hear me? Apparently, I'm really soft, so you'll have to turn me up on your end, I think. I think I did it. I think I did it. Yay. So, uh, what do you think, Justin? Should we talk about those at the beginning or at the end? The, oh, um, well, let's do them at the end as a part of our plug thing. We will do that. Okay. So we're going to go back make to sure little camera. You, make sure you attach the date to it as well. That's important. The date. Yeah. So where you plan on talking or where you plan on doing that stuff? Right? Yeah. Uh, thank you, thank you, Doctor Bob. Um, but even though I am actually, I'm actually uh, uh, both soft and strong and manly. Um, but uh, were you planning on doing that? Do you have a platform created yet? No. Okay. So when you do, I'll make sure to put that in our link. Okay. Link, uh, thing that we have for shout out. Uh, so they like tell, make sure to tell them about the date for this. Um, unfortunately, they don't, they will not have a channel to, uh, visit. Okay, perfect. Um, yeah, I am painting, um, oh, that's one thing that happened that I forgot about. I dropped my little booklet. I'm, I found something new to sit on. So we have these carts that Ruben made us where we, like, um, move things back and forth, but they're not the big carts. They're just, like, handmade carts. Uh, and I'm Over. sitting on one of those today. They're like, That's cool. they're like, they're not masonite. They're like, they're like that real rough board and metal just screwed together. That's not a chair. I'll tell you that, not a chair. Oh, wow. So. How you doing, Graz Yeti? Hi, Graz Doctor Bob. Um, yeah. So um, we're gonna do Hajad. Pirate. Um, yeah. And then also we have exciting stuff to talk about. Uh, yeah, not professionals, not a chair. Better than phone books. Um, we have other stuff to talk about as far as... I shouldn't go ahead and do it, but I'll talk about it in a little bit. Um, something that's probably going to happen that everybody wants. Um with just like the tiniest hang up. And I mean, it wouldn't be me if I didn't go into that and maybe talk about it a little bit. But anyway, anyway, anyway. So have my guy here. I made myself a little like, uh, oh, 24 seven Sadie stream. Wouldn't that be fun? Um, what would you call that kinesthetic cues here? Like, so I know when this is off camera. We'll see. I'm trying to be more professional. Every week. Every week, guys. I strive to be more professional for you. So, um, so yeah. Uh, got my little brushes here. Um, got my guy. And it's got the little sections. So, um, I'm going to try and look at the camera. Um, I have it in a different spot. Ooh. 
Okay. Well, you know what? One thing I noticed, Justin, is my camera, like, or not my camera, my, maybe I need to do my stuff down last. Oh, I've got my gain all the way down. Anyway, last episode, I sounded kind of like, I don't know, it's just abrasive. There's something I didn't like about it. More so than usual. Yeah, I got a tape mark on the table under my mat. And then I have, um, I have like finger and bottom of mini holder marks. Yeah, professional is boring. F professional. Okay, so I got my water here. Got my palette cam going. Um, got my brushes. Okay, so we're going to start. Uh, with the skin, we're using dark highlights, um, 9042. 9042. Hi, Skelsey. Uh, you know, oh, thank you, Dr. Bob. He said not abrasive, assertive, but it was like, I can't really describe it. It just didn't, like, I just didn't like how it sounded. Uh, so, yeah, we'll see. But um, need to get everything kind of situated. But I have this new little setup. I've marked kind of my palette to where, like, if you can't see it, I won't put it on there. Um, and everything's good. So, gonna get started. Things I'm gonna talk about. So, my boyfriend and I are still planning on streaming. My tentative date is June 1st, which I think would put us on a Thursday. Um... Sorry, this isn't wanting to come out. And I don't think I have a paint pokey. I gave myself a little... Here it is. I'm using, like, what the people who don't like the paint pokey use. The uh, handy-dandy paper clip. Because I have my two paint pokies. I bought two new paint pokies in there at home. Um, and I have my other paint pokey here at, in the mixing, mixing area. Oh, there we go. Don't force it. <sighs> I want to talk about that Little Richard song, but I won't because it's inappropriate. How inappropriate can you get on Twitch before you get in trouble? Um, pretty damn inappropriate, actually. Did anybody... Okay, so first of all, we lost Little Richard. And uh, did anybody ever hear about the origins of Tutti Frutti? You don't know the, the Tutti Frutti song? It was in the Brave Little Toaster. Oh. For yeah, all you okay, littles. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I remember. So, the origin of that song is originally the lyrics were... I won't go into all of it. Tutti Frutti, good something... If it don't fit, don't force it. And I think about it every time I use one of these, one of these paint pokies. Don't force it. That hurts. You could jam it through and get yourself. You could break it, like Doctor Bob said. You don't want that. Are you still talking about the tutti frutti, good paint pokey. If it don't fit, don't force it. Rest in peace. So, dark highlights. Dr. Bob knows it. But, uh, yeah. I'm going to beat the devil out of it. I got a little devil in there. I'm getting the devil right out of it. Am I too loud? Am I too something? Oh, you're fine. Okay. So, I'm going to use my flat brush. Um... Skelsey can't hear you. Oh. Uh, well, uh, how do I improve that on this end? <laughs> You're the captain. No, no, I mean, like, that was part sarcasm, but, like, really, really, though. I think you have to, you have to adjust it on your end. I can't, I can't do it. Me? Okay, hold on. 
I swore. Make sure you have me turned up in Discord as well. Okay. Discord changes things. I'm going to sound like an old lady, but I just want stuff to stay as it is. Don't update. Don't change. Just be what I've asked you to be. I allowed you to come into my computer a certain way. Okay. Let's look at voice and video. Output volumes all the way up. It's not that. Uh, yeah, get off my lawn, Sadie. Uh, yeah, I've got beading. I prepped this mini. Okay, desktop audio. You're on desktop audio? Correct. You're all the way up on my end. Hey, if if I turn you up on my... Huh? So in Discord itself, if you left click my name, uh -huh. you can see like a, a volume slider. Okay. That may be lower. Usually it defaults to right in the middle. If you need to crank it up a little bit, you can. It Left. might make it louder for you. I don't see a volume. Right-click user for more actions. I don't see a volume slider. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. 200%. Try it now. Testing. Okay, I like that. Uh, Testing. I thought I did wash that mini, but I didn't, I guess. Shoot. Now I let a little like weird bit dry on him. Maybe if I like wash him with water and then just kind of like wipe him off. Um, hate that, hate that. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to trying to work quickly from now on. So like the gist of this whole stream with my honey is that I'm going to teach him to paint the the learn to paint kit way with the same paints, new minis. So at the end of the show, I'll show you these minis. Justin kind of told me, hi, Nomad Zeke. Uh, Justin kind of told me ways to um, to make it more profesh. We'll see if I can handle that. Um I'm sort of new to all this like I can figure it out pretty quickly I just won't be like looking at the camera um I don't have a hair dryer here I should dip him in your water cup and scrub him a little bit let's see if he works like this let's see if he's gonna be good for me this what's his name Hajad 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 um so I'm gonna wick away a little bit of this water. The wick away is my favorite, my favorite tech. Um, so. Oh yeah, that's much better. Okay, so. Um, so yeah, uh, we'll be painting together. I'll be teaching him. And then I have some other ideas for different types of content. Like I thought about, um, well, I mean, everybody's doing crime now, but I thought about talking about like crime stories that I'm really into while I paint, um, kind of thing. I mean, it'd just be like a normal kind of day for me. I'm usually boring somebody with stories of something. So, uh, I don't know. That's the truth. Isn't it? Oh man, no, <laughs> you're not, you're not wrong. Um, yeah, let's see, carrying an old toothbrush with me for when I won't need to wash off quick, uh, quick mini. Yeah, exactly. Uh, secondary use, scrubbing off the con crud. That's right. Uh, in the glass community, you know, my boyfriend's a glass blower. They call a con crud wook flu. A wook being like, I mean, I'm not cool enough to know exactly what it is. Like, I'm, I'm aged out of this whole little group. But I think a wook is kind of like a yuppie. Like, usually they live off daddy and mommy's money. And they're, like, festival kids. And they dress funny and they borrow everything. Anyway, wook flu. Con crud. Con crud's the illness, right? Um, we're getting into a 
little bit of trouble here because I can't see that well and I'm up high. I'm just going to have to keep, uh, I'm just going to have to keep messing with my little scene here and making it better. Justin was pointing out that I have a lot of empty space in my background. I have something that I ordered a long, long time ago. It's just taking a long time. Um, the person who sent it to me was like, hey, if you don't get it in a week, let me know. But it's from London, and it's just uh, not got here yet. So we're just being patient and letting it be what it is. Um, so, yeah. Painting this guy's little legs. We'll go back over it. We'll make it better. Oh, and I might have to slump. Uh, speaking of concrud, I hope they recast the concrud zombie from a couple years ago. That'd be nice. I need water. I didn't bring water to drink. I almost want to drink my paint water. That's how thirsty I am. I won't uh, do I it, though. I won't do it. Okay. I do have my cheaters. Um, the only thing about my cheaters is like I've got your chat, you guys, on a monitor that's kind of far away. That's oh, not so bad. I don't have my like crazy cheaters on. I have some crazy cheaters and I love those. They're like really, they really get you close. Um, but yeah, so let's see, 327. <sighs> well, cheaters are getting essential for me. Uh, I do puzzles on my phone at night before I go to sleep, and I've noticed, I'm like, this just isn't very clear. Like, what is the problem? And I think it's that my vision up close is getting not so great. Uh-oh. Yeah. Is there another uh oh, or just that my vision's getting worse? No, but your vision's getting worse. I mean, we are getting older, Sadie. Yeah, it is true. It's real. But it is real. I too feel out of sync with the uh, the youngins. The younger crowd. Yeah, the youngins. I get on my soapbox an awful lot about things. Um, like warnings and. You know, don't do this isms. But whatever. I've become the man. <laughs> All right. I'm still not doing the best at keeping him here, but whatever. Whatever. It's got to be better than usual. So, how do paint guides do not have a um, direction to prime? No, they don't. Uh, they do need to be scrubbed, though. And I swore that I did. Like, I thought when I got these, I scrubbed them, all three of them. But I didn't know. And I should have just went ahead and did them. Like, I, um, I took a palette knife to this one. Not palette knife. I took a scalpel to this one, and I scraped off all the mold lines and he had a mold line on his head that I kind of filed off and when I was done with that I was like I should really scrub this and I was like no I already did it not thinking that like okay the consequences of having not done it will be this will beat off and the consequences of doing it again will be literally nothing but also phrasing what I didn't even notice hi pewter rooster uh Yeah, uh, not old enough for that. Neither of you are you, Justin. Um, yeah, we're getting there. Oh, bead off. I see. Thank you, Gross <laughs> Judy. Um, Dr. Bob says, one thing I actually love about this hobby is that it seems like there's a larger percentage of slightly worn but still young people that do this rather than a bunch of teenies. 
I have a couple of teenies at Paint Club. Uh, yeah, they're cute. They're little cuties. Just starting. How teeny are they? Like actual teenagers? Or yeah, they're they're, they're in high school. They go to high school. With Jackson, one of our game store guys. So when you say teeny, you're referring to teenager, not size. No, not teeny. Like teens, oh, yeah. teenagers. I, I, I understand now. One of them is like real focused and has stuff he's working on. And one of them, oh my gosh, I don't know if he'll ever come again because this is before we shut down for the C word. But uh, he brought in a friend and this guy was like off the wall. And he was like, he was like, I'm going to modify this mini. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. He actually reminded me a lot of me and uh, never really got to painting. And I let him borrow my scalpel like against my better judgment. And I was like, you will cut yourself. Don't cut toward yourself. And he cut himself. And he was like, I'll just tell my mom that I did it. And I'm like, don't let, don't tell mom. Do we have to tell mom? Can we not talk about this to mom? Oh man. Can hear Sadie just fine, but can barely hear Justin. Um, to, uh, we'll probably have to troubleshoot that after the stream if we have time. We probably won't have time, but um, we, we can troubleshoot it, so don't worry about it. I hate that. I'm, I'm, not, Im I'm not important anyway. They want to hear you. That's not accurate, and that actually makes me mad. Hi, Iggy hey, Spellscale. I'm, I'm the guy running the camera, making sure everything works. I'm just kind of an accessory. You're the, you're no. the talent here, remember? You're the sidekick. We're like a morning show. Uh, I feel more like uh, what's the what's the drummer or the guy that plays the instrument in that late night show? Pedro. They always shoot over to him every now and then. He says like, "Oh, the band leader." And then that's it. The band leader. Yeah, I feel more like that guy. Uh, yeah. Hi, Scott Beal. Uh, it does make it seem like Sadie is talking to herself. Don't like that. I'll tell you what. In, in, in fairness, in fairness, though, you do that anyway. I do. Did I tell you guys how I started rewatching Seinfeld because we lost, um, we lost Jerry Stiller, Frank Costanza. Started rewatching Seinfeld and I was like, "Does this hold up?" And I laugh my ass off by myself. Oh my. God, I laugh so hard like a like a mad woman. I'm laughing. I'm dying. Somebody's in here. Somebody needs something. Serenity now. Yeah. Serenity now. Insanity later. Let's take a look at something. I just don't know how this happens. Why does stuff change? It makes me so mad. Um, Are you talking about my volume? Yeah. The, if so, basically, um, if you have already checked the desktop audio on, oh, thank you, Dr. Bob. That actually activates the giveaway. Let me get that going here in a second. Oh, shit. Um, yeah, sorry. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. We'll get that next. Uh, so if you've already turned me up in the bottom right tray as much as you could, uh -huh. um, and you've already turned me up in Discord, the only other place that you can affect my volume would be through, uh, through OBS itself. Okay. And if I'm coming through your desktop, you want to make sure that slider is all the way to the right. Yeah. Is that where it's currently at? Yeah. But I'm, like, I can see myself on there, and my little green light is going way higher than yours. So maybe I'll go to weird. settings, um, properties. Unless you've accidentally, in your, uh, in the volume in the bottom right, if you open up the mixer, uh -huh. unless you've accidentally brought down the volume of Discord individually, that's possible, too. Nah. Oh, yep. Okay, now you're gonna. Did? Yeah, now you're gonna be loud. Now you're gonna be loud. We did it, guys. I'll, I'll whisper. You probably need to turn me down. Okay. Uh, I'll turn you probably down in Discord, but like not two hundred percent. Um. Probably way too loud. Okay. Turn you to a hundred. Am I? Am I too? 
I think Am I too loud for you guys? Like, seriously, to let us know. Yeah, I can hear Justin now. Thank you. Okay. That's another thing for me to check. There's so much shit. There's a lot of variables when it comes to technology. It doesn't all want to play nice either, unfortunately. I wish it would. And In fact, if it, if it did, I wouldn't have a job, I imagine. So, could be a little louder. Okay, I'm going to turn you back up a little bit in the Discord. Um, yeah. I literally touch nothing. It's all the computer. It does what it wants. Okay. Uh, Justin's back. Perfect. Okay, good. All right. I've been very messy on this man's skin because it's beating and it's actually like pooling, which Anne told me one time, if ever there's any pooling, that definitely means there's too much paint. But yeah, I've, I've been watching Seinfeld and dying. Oh my God. And my boyfriend doesn't get it. Do you like Seinfeld, Justin? I, the handful of episodes I've actually seen, I know it's a travesty. I should watch more. I like Larry David too. Oh, anyway. Yeah. Uh, the handful of episodes I've seen, it, it has made me laugh. Uh, but I, I, I think that George Costanza is what makes it for me. Yeah. Oh, so. I agree. Last night, the episode that really got me going, and I watched it while James cooked because uh, because he um, doesn't like it, and I don't want to like inflict it on him or whatever. We try and watch our own stuff alone, but it was the one with the bad B.O. in the, in the car. I couldn't get the B.O. out of this car. And uh, it was like an entity. And I was just laughing and laughing and laughing. And like the first one that really did it to me, and this is like in the first three episodes, I think, was the uh, was the one with that old lady that was like, I had a pony. <laughs> and it fucking killed me. Like Jerry was shitting on people that had ponies as kids. And he was like really going on about it. And she said she had a pony. And then she died. And he felt like he had killed her by talking about her pony. Anyway, anyway. Uh, oh, his hand with the, sword, with the sword. Thank you, Dr. Bob. See, that's why I need my glasses. Because he's got what I think are kind of like maybe... Would that be a bracer? I don't know. I got a picture of him here. I shouldn't be so... Yeah, no soup for you. I haven't gotten to the soup Nazi yet. Uh, I just got to the, the junior mats. I'm to like... I'm to the show like where they have the pilot and everything which i wasn't fond of that particular uh storyline but uh yeah it's pretty cool i enjoy it um yeah but i do laugh to myself quite a bit or talk to myself and like loud 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 makes me feel crazy not as bad, though, as, like, when I'm listening to something up here and I'm laughing to myself. I listen to, um, so I've got Spotify, and if you've got Spotify and you're like me, you might need to be reminded that Spotify also has, like, podcasts and it has stand-up on it. So I've listened to, um, Pat, a little bit of Pat Oswalt, and, um, yeah, he's not wearing a pirate shirt. Um... I like Patton Oswalt a whole lot because he's kind of like. He's got a newer stand up on Netflix, I think. Mm -hmm. Like one that was within the last year, right? Yeah, he does. I saw it on there. I haven't watched it yet. But the thing is, he's kind of hit or miss for me, but I like him as a person. Uh, so I'll listen to him. But like the one that really gets me is this guy. Oh, you silly Jerry. Oh my God. Um, this guy. Sebastian Maniscalco. Oh my god, he makes me laugh so much. He's out of the comedy store in uh, Los Angeles. And I uh, love him. But I was up here one time and only Michael Collins was here. So when we were really selling those survival kits and Michael Collins was pulling for those and I was laughing out loud, like loud to myself. But fortunately, it was Michael Collins and much like you, he doesn't expect me to be like mega sane. <laughs> yeah, there's there's an expectation that comes with it. Yeah, I can kind of now speaking me. of uh, speaking of Netflix. Um, hold on a second, guys. I'll I'll punch it in here. Speaking of Netflix comedian, do you do you like do you know or like Pete Davidson? I haven't watched him yet, but I do like him. Uh, Doctor oh, Bob, I, yes. I find him intolerable. Really? 
Yeah, I know. I, but that's primarily because I, I think his humor is, <clears throat> it tries to be, I guess, this tense and kind of awkward humor. And I don't feel like he succeeds at it. I don't find him funny at all. I was recently watching Chris D'Elia. And um, if you're into the comedy store at all, uh, there's like a comedy store podcast. It's where Mitzi Shore, Polly Shore's mom, uh, it's her comedy club. And um, she re- she passed like last year, I think. But um, anyway, I got the Sophie Silver. I'm going to show you guys Sophie Silver. Um, anyway. Giveaway should be working now. There we go. She used to pass people t- as paid regulars. Okay, this is Sophie Silver. That's what we're giving away. That and a pokey tool. Sophie Silver, very pretty color. She used to pass people. And then they had this. Um, yeah, Sophie Silver. Um then they had this manager come in who was kind of a character and they say the people that he passed were all really pretty people and Chris D'Elia being one of them. So anyway, I listened to the new Chris D'Elia and nobody else I really know likes comedy that much. Um, but he reminds me a lot of Mitch Hedberg in a way that like I try to look at it as like he's influenced by somebody you really like. That's really cool. But part of me is like, hmm. Mm. See, I, I like Mitch Hedberg. I think he's funny. Yeah, you might like Chris D'Elia. A lot of people do. Uh, he's known for his imitation of drunk women. Uh, drunk chicks. Maybe I have actually seen this. You know, it's possible I've actually already heard him. Oh, love oh, John Mulaney. I, love, I do, too. John Mulaney, to me, is like, he's such a likable dude. He reminds me of uh, John Krasinski a little bit. If yeah, John Krasinski did stand up. Which, by the way, is a side note. John Krasinski, I think, is one of the most wholesome actors ever, by the way. Have you seen all the stuff he's been doing on YouTube? Yeah. Uh, you have? You've seen all that? I haven't it's watched fantastic. them, but yeah. Oh, you should, when you get a chance, watch them. Because he has done some fantastic things during this COVID stuff uh, on YouTube. In uh, regards to first responders, in regards to just putting a bunch of positivity out in the world. It's, it's kind of amazing. Oh, he got, orga- he got ordained. Uh, I believe to just just to do someone's marriage over uh, video chat. <gasps> Did I talk about this yet? Andy Dick Probably. is ordained. Andy Dick oh, can God. do weddings. I messaged my boyfriend immediately, and I was like, no. "Look, I don't know if I could afford him. I might just have to tell him like I've loved you it, forever." It's Andy Dick. He just needs a Bud Light and fifty dollars. <laughs> I don't think he's drinking. I think he's sober. Well, it's Andy Dick, so. Love that man. You know what's he's, really he's sad? Just, I don't think he has much work these days, so you could probably get him. <laughs> he um dressed up like he, uh, yeah, uh, Reaper Brian was ordained, um, too. Is ordained, I suppose. Never mind. Um, Good, Dr. Bob. You can, uh, you can marry my fiance and I. There you go. Um. Andy Dick dressed up like Tiger King and looked exactly like him. And it is a fucking shame that they're not using him. They're they're talking about, who were they talking about using? Um, Was it Nick Cage or am I crazy? I just put a lot on that palette. Anyway, they're not going to use my man Andy Dick. And they should. But yeah, I would love, I just, I think I'm going to meet Andy Dick one day. I'm going to put it out there. I really do. I, f- I feel it. Uh, hi there. One DLC LW1. Uh, five minute online course to get ordained in the early 2000s. But yeah. Uh, I met, uh, I met Jason Lee. Oh yeah. He's Denton. He's a Dentonite. He's a Dentonite now. Yeah. I like Jason Lee. Super, 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 super nice guy. Basically, kind of the same person from My Name is Earl. Not quite as dumb, but same guy. Very down to earth. Was he dumb or just simple? A mm, little bit of column A, a little bit of column B, I think. The simple. Kind he of was matter. definitely simple, but I also think he was a little on the dumb side. Planer Crossroads. I watched enough of that show. Uh, Planer Crossroads met Brandon Lee before he was shot. That's amazing. Oh, boy. That was crazy. 
I get to my conspiracy uh, spot tingling. Oh my God, they should hire Andy Dick for the pizza dungeon opening. Here's the thing, Pewter Rooster. My aesthetic, my um, identity, like my idea of the identity of this place is not the same as the bosses. And I don't know that Andy Dick fits into their, uh, what would you call it? On their vision board of Reaper miniatures, I don't know that Andy Dick has a place. Doesn't make sense to me. But, there you go. I would, I would argue that if you ask Dave or Ed today, they may not even know who Andy Dick was. They would if I told him. He's been in enough stuff. Oh, yeah. But, I mean, if you just mention the name Andy Dick, they're, they're not going to know. You'd have to tell them. Like, you'd have to jog their memory. Okay. So, this is talking about lining. Two parts ebony flesh to one part water. So I guess we're lining the areas. I need a place to put this so you can kind of see them, but I'll stick them right there. Uh, so you can see the line between the skin and the clothing. Um, they will adapt. They would. They're my age. Huh. My line of work met a lot of famous folk. That's pretty neat, Margaret. Uh, I met Emmett Smith. He owned a, or uh, was like part owner of a salon I worked at. Uh, he doesn't like taking pictures with people, but I think he did take pictures with some people. I just really avoided him because I was nervous. I know you got to know who Emmett Smith is, right, Justin? Of course. I went okay. to I went to the game that he broke the uh, rushing record, actually. Oh. I met, um, I've actually met a handful. Most of the famous people I've met have been like football players, like Roger Staubach, um, who else? Um, Jason Witten. Yeah, my mom met like Jason Witten. Jason Witten is a talk about a good old country boy. Man, yeah. he is no nonsense. Kind of intimidating, actually. And I'm not a small person, so. Speaking of not being a small person, I actually found, I was going through my Facebook pictures, I found the video of you shooting your bow and arrow in slow motion we'll have to share that sometime because it makes you look real cool not that does you're not it cool does it though it go I ahead and it, send that to me i think it does go ahead and text that to me okay i think it's real neat i think we should show it um, if it's the one i think it is i i think we have different definitions of cool that might be true because well, let me tell you something I am pretty uncool. I'm all right with it, but I'm pretty uncool. Man, I'm not going to be able to do this on my computer. I got to do it on my phone. But, uh, yeah, I think it looked. What did you say you were digging through when you found it? My Facebook. It's in your Facebook. Oh. Yeah, it's in my Facebook in my, like, mobile uploads or something. You check it out. It's a view. Hmm. Okay. Uh, there's one of Gus and there's one of you. And I was like messing with slow motion. It was, it was pretty fun. Hi, uh, JLT Works TV. Uh oh. I just got a. I shouldn't be looking at my phone, but I was going to try and find that thing. My honey just sent me a sent me a snap of a trailer that says "Caution: Show Horses." Look out! We got some pretty horses coming. Man, my uh, face is itching me. I might have a little allergy situation. All right. Did I miss his arm? I sure did. I sure did, Dr. Bob. Thank you. Good looking out. Maybe you didn't look cool. Maybe I just don't know what cool is. I'm trying to find it. I'm going to be honest. It's a weird day when I feel like I don't know how to navigate Facebook anymore. I don't either. I was really looking like all I could find were my profile pictures because I was looking for something specific. Yeah, I, I don't know how to get to like your... Go to my about me or like more info or whatever. 
And then, and then pictures you like from scroll there. down and the pictures are in there, I think. Which just reminds me, I had a, um, uh, I had a dream that I met, uh, Tom from MySpace. And then he was looking real good. I probably talked in my sleep on that <laughs> so one. Ra that is so random. I was like trying to tell my boyfriend, like, he looks great. He's got a new haircut. He looks great. Um, Graziati said, I used to meet a bunch of celebrities back when I worked for the American Airlines Center. Nowadays, it's just the ones I meet at Dallas fan days or whatnot. Did you ever meet uh, Mike Madonna? No, no, I did Love, not. I'm talking to Graziati. Love oh, okay. Mike Madonna. Me and my mom both are, like love Mike Madonna. Love him. I'm so itchy. It's my makeup. My makeup makes me itch. How do? You, first of all, two things. I did not realize you ever had your hair this short. Holy hell! Yeah. Um, secondly, I never knew it was like this. Is like what is that? That's not a pixie. What is that? That's it's so short. I've just never seen that. Um, but secondly. Where is it buried in your uploads here? It's gotta be. Um, any hockey base basketball player from 2004 to 2007, you know who I really also liked is that Brendan Morrow, like before he was captain, and um, Nico Kapanen. Thought he was real cute, but yeah, Brendan Morrow, big fan of Brendan Morrow. Uh, and he married like some great hockey coach's daughter, I think. I don't know. Has a bunch of kids. Doing good. Living life. Okay, now we got the arm going. It's kind of beating away in a way that I really don't like. Married Anne-Marie Carboneau. That's right. Thanks, Planer Crossroads. Um... I also never knew you had red hair, so... Yeah, I did. I, went, I had red hair too. when we went shooting. Uh, did you? Yeah, I did. I have a picture of me shooting a big gun. <laughs> a big old gun. Had red hair. Oh, Reaper Dave's here? I don't see Reaper Dave. Oh, hi. Hey, Reaper Dave. Um, Reaper Dave. Uh, yeah. Old Justin's going through my through my old Facebook post because I told him there's a video of him looking cool. And I, I wanted to dispute the coolness. He That's... begs to differ, but let me tell you something. You look like a superhero or something. <laughs> like That's superhero. why I'm, I'm, I'm dying of curiosity because I didn't know you had filmed me. Yeah, that's, you that's and another I used to take like pictures and videos of you guys, like not to be creepy, but... Whatever, if the shoe, if the creepy shoe fits, I'm gonna wear it. I was like doing slow motion video though, and I thought it was neat. Might have. I also am having difficulty finding. Maybe it's on Instagram. Um, how many subs do we have? As of currently, we have six subs. So we are four short from a second round. Far away from second, Sophie Silver and uh, Sophie Silver and Pokey Tool. Uh, I don't know, Doctor Bob, if we'll do a Sophie Silver during ReaperCon Live because we're trying. Um, Reaper, shoot, I was thinking Reaper Live, ReaperCon Live. I'm sure we will. Ooh, thanks, Samurai Jack. Yay. All right, now we're on two. Two Sophie Silvers. Two Pokemon. Oh, that's awesome. Thank, Thank you. you. Um, yeah. What time is it? No, talking about looking cool. You want to talk about looking cool? You have a video on your Instagram of, uh, of, uh, Mr. James doing his, uh, glass blowing. That's oh, yeah. Cool. Is there the one of him, like, um, he's, like, doing something, and then he moves it over like he's trying to make the camera see it, but he's not? 
Uh, I think so, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's a really good video, and he didn't even know that I was doing it. I used to do that a lot to him, too. I don't... He gets nervous sometimes when I watch him blow glass, so I haven't been out there in a while. Um, plus, like, it's just been a really crazy year, but I haven't been over there in a while, and especially with COVID, because his uh, mentor that he works with at his house has got kids, and um, kids, whew, little Petri dishes. Thank you, uh, Zewo Zerace. Yeah. Yeah, awesome. Thanks, guys. Um. Uh, side note, too. I, I don't think I don't see it on your Instagram either. It's in there, Justin. I saw it yesterday. I think you're trolling me. I'm not. I swear to God. Because I thought I deleted it. See, if I were McKaylee, I'd want to have that cool picture. Maybe in like a and maybe in like a. What do they call them? Like the, like a PowerPoint at your wedding. Not a PowerPoint, but you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess, is there, is there other places where stuff can be on Instagram? Because I started to think maybe It's on Facebook, friend. To, I thought you said it was on Instagram. It, it's in, I think it's in my, I think I deleted it from my Instagram. I think it's in my Facebook in my Instagram folder, like a slideshow. Thank you, Bamin. Uh, Dr. Bob, you're not a pest. It actually helps me to like move through this cohesively to not have to skip around. But yeah, I am missing his other hand. I'm trying not to like have the worst posture known to man while I paint this, but I think I'm gonna have to. I don't think it shows that much though, so whatever. I just have bad posture anyway, it don't matter. It don't matter, let's just let it, let's just be us. Who we are, be here now, bad posture and all. Let it all fly. Let's let it just fly. Yeah, right. Man, I'm so thirsty. A posture, pal. Is that like a stuffed animal you strap to your back? <laughs> Wouldn't that be cute? I almost want to text somebody to bring me ice. Who do I know here that won't be too put out? Like, I don't want to offend anybody. I, I closed my, um, closed my vent in here because my, you probably see him. My orchid wasn't doing too well. Been doing a little orchid oh you see my prom picture i was like prom queen i went to a really small school but i was prom queen that was the prom king uh yeah i was really young i liked i liked prom for just the dressing up but um yeah worked at starbucks at the time Oh, he wasn't my boyfriend or anything. He was in student council with me. I actually, like, <laughs> I was student council president, and I yelled at the student council one time because they wouldn't get their shit done. I said the F word. Nobody, like, nobody pulled me back. I just went for it. And I remember looking at that guy, and he had this look in his eyes like I kicked this puppy. I felt really bad. I made that guy, like, uh, no, um, Dr. Bob, we didn't, we, I don't dance. So I look like hell, but I did a picture like we were dancing, but uh, his girlfriend was there and like, I had a guy, um, I actually look back on this and think it was like a defense mechanism against having to like deal with a lot of things I was feeling and having a shitty boyfriend, but uh, how many pokey tools are to be given away? Two, two pokey tools. Um, but I had this crush on this like much older guy I worked with and I got him to drop me off at prom, but obviously he wasn't going to take me to prom cause that's weird, but he dropped me off at prom. So that was like, I had a real good night that night. This guy dropped me off at prom, went to prom there with my friends, went home, went to work the next day. How many away from three? It's like two or three away from three. Oh yeah. Bad a dancer like Elaine. Probably. Um, I was in musical theater and somebody told me I'm just self-conscious, but I think I'm a real bad dancer. Somebody also told me in musical theater that I got way too much Eastern European in me.
Say I will not be serving anybody. You will not be getting served. My uncle drove all the way to Kansas City from Austin so I could drive his Corvette to prom. Dr. Bob, that is cool. And this particular prom, since I didn't have a date and like my best friend and her boyfriend, now husband, were broken up, we took our prom picture together. I actually wish I had that on my Facebook. I might really, but... Um, we took a picture where we like held hands and kind of looked almost like at each other at the camera. Um, and it's just really like sweet. It's just a really sweet picture. And by the way, like, like exactly who I would want to have a picture with from high school prom. Dr. Bob, I bet you were more cool than you knew. Here's the thing about being cool and I was thinking this, somebody sent me a picture of myself and them in middle school and she was like, nobody was cooler than us. And I was looking at it and I was like, really? Yeah, it does kind of seem that way. But like, I wasn't at the time to other kids. And then I was thinking, well, like, kids are annoying and dumb. What do they know about cool? I don't know anything about cool. So yeah. You are probably cool, like, just people didn't know it. Especially not you. You didn't know it, but you were probably really cool. Oh, sorry. We're gonna get into some pants now. I wish I would've finished that salmon pants color before I got into these pants. I might've done salmon pants. Even though that would go against the idea that we're using the Learn to Paint Kit colors. Who else is, like, super stoked about this Learn to Paint Kit expansion? You remember this, Justin? Mm, you talking about the one, the, the Bone 6 spoiler? No. No. <laughs> it's the, um, Ed talked about, what are those paper boxes called? The, like, the, the kits that are in cardboard. We've got oh, the, the, the ones that he, we just showed pictures of, like, two weeks ago. Oh, geez. He doesn't have a sleeve. Thank you, Dr. Bob. This is going to be... You want to talk about my biggest challenge um, with teaching somebody to paint? It's going to be... I'm going to have to really look at these minis real, um, real up close to decide what is where. But whatever. And okay, so like here's the other fun thing. I'm not showing, like, I, I was talking to James and I was like, hey, do you want to see the minis I picked out for us to paint? Or do you think it'd be cooler if I didn't? And he's like, I actually think it'd be cooler if you didn't show me. So he doesn't know what we're going to paint yet. So it's not like he has any input. Like, if we were going to do it more collaboratively, he'd be like, oh, we should do this or this. But he's not. So uh, he's not going to know. It's going to be almost like an unboxing for him. I figure, like, I'll back it up with whatever he needs, and um, I, I'm back and forth on whether I want to give him printed out instructions, because probably, like most of you know, um, everybody learns differently, and some people have a hard time just listening to you tell them what to do, so I might have to give him, like, a sheet, much like I'm working off now, that tells what we're going to paint, what we're going to do, all that. Oh, no, it's not a shirt. It's just his arm. <sighs> I cut my own hair, guys. And, like, I always cut my own hair, but my hair was really dead, so I did, like, a real big haircut, and I did not do a great job. I got, like, it's like scene hair. It's very layered and shaggy. But I can, like, get my fingers through it now. And it's shiny at the ends. Yeah, I'm going to have to adjust it, but it's like in my face. It's terrible. Anybody know what happens when you put too much paint 
on a, a miniature. That's right, Graz Yeti. I like gray hair. I think it's neat. We had a guy working here for a while that was like a young guy with full head of gray hair. I thought it was cool. I've got grays. I've got a lot of grays. I can tell because I'll put the purple shampoo on to make my hair whiter and I'll have little purple stuff like popping up. Um, okay, Planner Caution says you might lose some of the finer details. Not much. Okay, good. The only thing I've noticed, okay, is like I have this, it's a big Sophie wing that I test the paint on for madness. And sometimes when I get the color really close, but like not close enough for me because I'm anal, I will swatch it next to the original. And so sometimes I'm like, ah, oh, that's not enough, whatever, whatever. I'll adjust it and I'll swatch it again. And sometimes when I get too many layers, it kind of gunks up. It's kind of not cool. So yeah If it pools, it can dry funny. Rings and such, yeah, that makes sense. Purple shampoo must be like blue lightener for sure. It's exactly, exactly Dr. Bob. If you're thinning your paints properly, it's hard to put too much paint on your models. Okay, Midnight Painter though, like aren't you supposed to not send them to do a base coat? I swear I read that, but now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know that I did, like undiluted or whatever. Probably depends on the color. I know all the colors are, a lot of the colors are different. Oh yeah, so I think I started to talk about this, but I didn't, yeah, thin your pants, or thin your paint, sand. Um, then at one to one for base coat, two thin layers though. Okay, chewy boots, that's actually a good idea. Everyone does that differently. I always send my paints because Ian told me to. Faraga, I would rather put a second coat of thinner paint on than thick coat. Is this figure named Justin? You saw him put pants on him. Justin's lying. He always wears pants. I think he's a never nude. Uh, excuse me. I'm nude right now. Oh, shut up. You're going to get hacked one day. Back, you know and then it'll prove you're a, ne a never nude. I haven't done a Reaper Live with, with actual clothes on in, in weeks at this point. It's kind of freeing to know that everyone's watching this show and I'm just sitting here completely naked. That doesn't make you like quite an exhibitionist, but it doesn't not make you an exhibitionist. I'll take it. I'm going to thin this blue paint. Sadie, that's just his body hair. It's part Yeti. Anne has also said that unthinned paints stick better to bones material. So who knows? That does, it is true. Huh, just don't go bluing yourself and you should be good. That uh, is the, uh, the funny part, though, that if he says that all the viewers are nude too, right? So the only people wearing clothes are the, the people on screen. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I just watched all of Arrested Development twice in a row. Um, I love Arrested Development. Oh yeah, great show. I love it. I love it, love it. Um, I watched it with my grandma and she actually super enjoyed it. Super loved it. It did scare her when, like, Jean Parmesan would come on and Lucille would, like, scream. <laughs> but she loved Buster. I mean, who doesn't? I, I really love Buster. I think the first time I watched it, I didn't. But now he's, oops, I'm in my, I'm in my uh, palette and face cam area. 
But once I watched it recently, I think Buster is probably about my favorite. Okay, so now we have a thin layer of blue. Next time, we're going to wash these minis, and we're going to be sure we've washed them. Maybe I'll put a little dot on the bottom to know they're washed to remind myself, or I'll just rewash them if I ever have any doubt. Blue pants. I ordered some of these, like, okay. Do you know about these old Western grandpa clothes, Justin? No. Your grandpa didn't wear Western clothes? No, he was more like a, um, like a fishing vest with no shirt on underneath kind of guy with a big floppy safari hat. Oh, I dig that. Where was he from? Was he from Texas? Yeah, originally, no. I think he was from, uh, no, wait, they were from here. I was thinking maybe Arizona, but that's the other side of the family. Anyway, my grandpa's lost quite a bit of weight, so I've been, like, getting clothes for him. And for whatever reason, I just didn't think they made the old man Western clothes anymore, but they do. And his pants, they're called Wrangler Ranchers, like with a W. I ordered some of them last night. I literally, like when I saw him, I was like, oh yeah, those are your pants. Like my grandpa wasn't buying it, but those, those are his pants. So I'm like really excited to get them in and see what they're like new. I don't know what I thought. I thought that maybe you had to go to an estate sale to get old man clothes. But they still have them. They still have the Western shirts, too. And I don't know how stiff they are when you get them. But anyway, these, these pants just reminded me of those. They look like cut-off Wrangler Ranchers, which are... They market them as dress jeans. But I don't think they're jeans at all. Good old-fashioned old man pants. It made me want to start wearing, like, cowboy clothes. Maybe I'll like lose my mind and start dressing like a cowboy. Stiff pants. Um, no, like stiff shirts, like Western shirts. I feel like anytime I've seen Western shirts, um, they're like stiff or something. Yeah, pearl snaps. They're, uh, they're super starched. Yeah, it seems like that. Um... <laughs> No, no, but the pants aren't stiff, I don't think. I just don't know if they're as soft as they are, like, now when my grandpa's had them for God knows how long. Old man clothes are kind of like teacher clothes. You're like, where do y'all get these? Not that I think that's a thing anymore, but when I was a kid, teachers wore these, like, pants up to their belly button. And, like... Oh, I still wear my pants like that. Okay, but do you wear, like... I don't know what else do teachers wear. Like, hi Reaper Harley. Did you wear um big, like smocks with like teacher related things on them? Like they wore big vests. I don't know what they wore. Teachers wore weird stuff. It was also the nineties. Yeah, that was gonna be my next thing. Was it was it was the nineties? But Doctor Bob says it takes about fifty to sixty washes to get them that soft and uh, that lived in softness. Ace teacher supply. Yeah. You gonna try and paint striped pants on your pirate? I don't think I could. I might be able to. I'd go really crazy over the detail of the folds and the stripes. Maybe one day, though. Um, one thing I do like to draw that I would like to incorporate into minis eventually is, like, Celtic patterns, Celtic knots. And Anne told me, she's like, that can be really cool free-handed on a mini like if you're good at it so i think that's coming one day but not anytime soon but yeah wouldn't it be neat if i just started dressing like a cowboy uh i need a ranch i don't need to be a poser i need a, a ranch before i do that maybe i can call reaper my ranch we'll start calling it reaper ranch Didn't it seem like Reaper Live? I was like this close to getting uh, Ed to let me have a chicken. Yeah, it seemed Ed like and Dave. it was just a statement away, yeah. 
I know it's Cindy that gets to decide. They've got these chicks at the, um, yeah, paint department can be the ranch. Um, they've got these chicks at the tractor supply and oh my God, they're cute. Put a cow out there, name her. See, I can't see what you named her. Reaper Chicken Ranch. That's something different. <laughs> I love a goat. I five paints. Especially baby goats. My God, those are cute. I once uh, dated a guy who like, very briefly, like went on a few dates with a guy. You might have been here for this. I might have complained about this up at work. He was telling me he really hated mowing the lawn. He was going to get a goat. And I was like, dude, if you want a goat, get a goat. But don't get a goat because um, you don't want to mow your lawn. It's not going to work out. And he gave me like a dirty look and he proceeded to get a goat and then it didn't work out. <laughs> like what kind of lazy... I think I vaguely remember that. Actually. Yes. It was uh, pre-James. What kind of man doesn't at least pretend like they like mowing a yard all the men i know like like mowing the mowing the yard it's like their meditation they have actually happen to have it on good authority that dave hates mowing he hates all yard work yeah but he doesn't buy a goat to to not do it no he does the normal thing and hires a yes. local business <laughs> not get a goat i was like dude oh sorry i shouldn't have, i shouldn't make these broad statements like this. Um, I Five Paints, I have thought about that with a cat. Uh, I thought about letting a cat go in the parking lot and like being like, oh my God, what a cute kitty. Let's bring it in. N now you've made me give it away right here on stream. But, uh, but yeah, lots of people don't like mowing the lawn, but they don't get a poor helpless animal that they're not going to take care of to do it and i told him i'm like goats poop everywhere dude they really do they have these little like pellets that go everywhere my grandma's parents had a ranch and there was goat poop everywhere but whatever i don't know what you do about that vacuum you call commander duty have y'all seen that commander duty or is that just a local Commander duty. it's a it's a guy with a with a car that comes around and picks up poop Cat's out of the bag now, exactly, Peter Rooster. I should have washed this mini. It's okay though. It happens, it's gonna work out. Should have washed this many. What time is it? Ooh, it is late. It is. We're gonna have to call it off. Okay. Hands off. We've done pants for the most part. We've done skin, um, base coat. Yeah. We'll say like another thing we'll focus on by we. I mean I will. Um, We'll really take a look at these minis and kind of analyze them, maybe on stream. Um, but yeah, uh, I don't have these numbers ready, but I kind of want to briefly like show people what I'm planning on working with that will be Reaper models similar to what we did in the, uh-oh, what did I do? Okay, in the uh, kits, but... So I'm going to do it, Justin. Next week, I'll have labels on them. Okay. Uh, Dave says, so when I start finding poop everywhere, I need to look for a goat in Sadie's office. That, you wouldn't be wrong. Okay, so these are the minis I plan to do in my own time with the Reaper paints. Okay, so I'm going to start with The Undying Lord of Death by Bob Rodolfi. This was photographed by uh, our own Reaper Justin. He's a skeleton, 
So it'll be much like the other skeleton, except that he has a big, like, bone scythe. And there's a lot more skeletons in here. So it'll be challenging for me. Um, but still skeleton. He's also got a robe. So hopefully this, that won't be uh, too intense. Next, we have our orc. Um, Jade fire spearman um it's a lady work she's beautiful tough lady she's aiming she's gonna throw this and she's gonna hit something um so yeah by jean van horn i don't know if i said that then we've got norgal iron grave knight by bobby jackson whoopsies he is going to be like our Mangu Tumur. Um, he's our big covered in uh, armor guy. And he's also got a little skull here. Good guy. So that will be what we will paint using the Learn to Paint Kit 1 colors. Um, yeah, the orc lady would look awesome in a diorama. Maybe, like, I can make her be spearing either the kangaroo or the... Oh, did I get paint on my face? I did. I can make her be spearing, spearing either the uh, kangaroo or the koala. Or one of my fun kitty knickknacks. Okay, so then, when we finish that, we're going to move on to the um, layer up kit, which is what we're doing now. And we're going to do... Lindell Blackroot Wizard by Julie Guthrie. Um, this guy's got a robe. It looks like a chain and a staff with a sphere at the top. Got a little hat on. I really like it. Really neat guy. Um, how many subs do we still need, Justin, for the next? We're, we're at 12, so we need three more for a third giveaway. Three more. Yeah, I love Julie's work as well. Um then we'll do Bailey Silverbell by Warner Clock. Get ready, because this is cute. Cute alert. Love this. Oh, thank you, Planer Crossroads. Um, super, That's awesome. Look at that. Super cute. That's amazing. Oh, Chewy Boots says, I got that one. Yeah, she's really popular, I think. I checked inventory with our inventory guy to make sure we have enough that, like, if I really promoted this and people started buying it, that it wouldn't be weird. And actually, I sent le links to Justin, and one of the ones I was originally going to do instead of the Julie Guthrie wizard was, like, close to out of stock. But I'm really glad. Crossbow? Is there a crossbow? Um, but I'm really glad that we did that one because I like Julie Guthrie. It's in her, uh, it's in her right hand. Oh, oh yeah. I guess that is a crossbow. I thought she was pulling another sword out. Okay. So then we have, um, Mariel Twin Spar by Warner Clock. This will be the similar to this, this guy, but I mean, she's not holding loot or whatever, but, um, but it'll be a pirate with skin. So we can work with skin. So, um, yeah, exactly. So I'll probably also post this on the, the Discord. But uh, that's that's what we got going. Going to be, uh, uh, yeah, exactly. Um, so I'm planning on starting that on June 1st. We'll just see how that goes. You know, what is it? You plan God laughs or whatever. We'll see how that goes. But that's that is the plan so um you'll be able to continue with these learn to paint kits and then my plan after that is whenever we release the paper box learn to paint kit expansion that um that we'll be able to add those colors in it which is really cool because um this is not something um this is not something that I chose or whatever. I didn't even know about it. If you watched Reaper Live last week, that was not fake surprise. Like I did not even know about this. I'm very excited about it. Um, and I think that's pretty cool. So um, so we'll have the expansion kit. And as Gra Graz Yeti did mention, yes, we did used to, oh, thanks Reaper Dave. Um, we did Look use to- that, that was a four. Yeah, four Sophie Silvers and Pokey tools. I do not have a Pokey tool right now. But uh, I'll show you the Sophie Silver. We'll go back to the little camera. Um, 
Yeah, I buy paints. It means we'll need to pump more paint. We've got a lot coming that we'll need to pump more paint for. Something that I'm super excited about that I won't talk right now. <gasps> Hi, the Calisandra. We missed you. Um, as always, we love you all. We enjoy this this time we have together. It is a blessing. Uh, we love it. And yeah, so to uh, finishing this guy in a decent amount of time and accurately and doing it well and starting something new. I do not know. Um, those minis I showed you were for a separate personal stream. I do not know what we're going to be painting after that on this show. That'll be a surprise. That'll be something I need to talk to Justin and uh, Michael Collins about. I won't have to talk to Michael Collins. I think he's kind of stepped away from stream stuff, but I still like to. And the boss Don't forget, by the way, to get your hashtag free in. Get your hashtag there's, free on there's in. A good chance too, though. Uh, good chance too that when you talk to Collins, he'll just come talk to me. So that's all right. It's, it's a it's cyclical. In fact, he and I were having some conversation. I'll tease this a little bit. Um, we're having a conversation uh, about possibly having a new show. I'm not going to say anything beyond that uh, coming up, and it it would be someone no we're not used to seeing from the Reaper, Reaper channel. Let's put it that way. Kind of new. You're going to tell me when we so, got off of here, right? Do what? You're going to tell me when we get off of here, right? I don't know. Can you uh, can you keep it tight-lipped? Yeah. <laughs> all right. Then you know what? I'll let you in on it. Okay, good. I doubt it's but Adrian. That's all you guys are going to get. It's Adrian. Um, sweet. Well, everybody... Uh, Oh, Reaper Collins right there. We love you, Reaper Collins. Um, Dr. Bob, we're, we're going to, you're going to get a, a bottle. You're going to get one. I know it. I feel it in my heart. Um, yeah. So I guess, are you going to do the drawing, Justin? Yep. I'm about to draw it right now. Okay. Are you ready for our four winners? I'm ready. All right. I'm going to say their names, and then I'm going to announce them in chat. All right. So first we have Samurai Jack 325. Then we have Lutherian. Um, and then we have Iggy Spellscale. And then Lando the Arch Magi. Yay. Congratulations, everybody. And yes, as Planar Crossroads said, Please join us on the Discord where we talk about things and stuff. We do things and we love it. So, I guess I get to choose a raid. Would you like to choose the raid today? Yeah, I just invited myself to do it. I mean, I don't mind. I mean, I uh, I like I think it reaches out a little more uh, uh let's say unique Purely because uh, you, what you might find interesting is not quite the same as what I might find interesting. So. Um. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Just stay away from dinosaur pottery. Did you write down who we rated that day? Uh, I would no, like that. Not at all. Not at all. So that I don't accidentally get us. <laughs> no. Because it's the fine. thing is, if she looked good then, she's gonna look good. In the future potentially yeah somebody's painting a cat but i'm gonna i'm gonna not make you guys do that i'm gonna stick to our hobby type stuff oh what is this okay um it looks like they're sculpting i don't know how big it is but this person is sculpting a spaceship uh create statues it's got social media everybody's welcome here as long as you stay nice to each other we like that okay his name is freaky deek so like freaky underscore d e e k it's not a spaceship finalizing the spaceship is what it says oops all oh. right you ready to send this off yeah, I am. Um, I would have done Kathy Wapple, but I didn't see it. Thank you, guys. We love you very much. Thanks for yeah, being Yeah, keep being, being awesome. 
Oh, winners. Oh, you yeah, should, the winners. Go ahead, Teddy. You, you should it. email giveaways at reapermini.com with your name, your Twitch handle in the subject and in the body, and your shipping address so we can send you those. I think you will send me tonight. See see me tonight. Right. Did I say send me tonight? See, see me tonight. Yeah. Whatever. Words. So, we'll see you then. Uh, we love you. Yeah. Perfect. All right. Well, thank you very much, guys. Um, keep being awesome. We hope, hopefully we'll see you here in about an hour and a half for Reaper Live. Yeah. Maybe we'll start on time. I'm not really sure. I, I never really know. But thank you guys very much. Uh, keep spreading the Reaper love. Use those raid emojis when we head on over there. And uh, just uh, keep being awesome. Yes. Right, Mwah. All right. Thanks, guys.